So what is the JSON Web Token Compact Serialization? So JSON Web Tokens are strings and they are always represented using this JSON Web Signature Compact Serialization or the JSON Web Encryption Compact Serialization. So remember that JSON Web Tokens are specifically designed to be passed around like in URLs and so on. And they are specifically designed to in space constrained environments. Uh, so that's why we need like a proper serialization format so that they're like relatively short. Let's take a look at this JSON Web Signature Compact Serialization and let's explore the principle. When we have a JSON Web Signature token, we always have like a header and we always have a claim set. The thing is, these JSON objects, they are nice, but they are not really like compact. So how do you actually condense this? And the way this works uh, with JSON Web Tokens here is that you base64 encode like each of these parts or let me be more precise, you base64 URL encode each of these parts. So you take this thing and you base64 URL encode it and you end up with something like that. So that is pretty neat. And then you take this thing and you also like the claim set and you base64 URL encode it and you end up with something else. And now you generate like the signature. Uh, just one more side note, there are also JSON Web Signature tokens that don't have like a signature so they are called unsecured json web signature tokens and that is usually a huge security vulnerability like it's basically a design flow more or less uh, i just want to mention that not every json web signature tokens has like a signature or a mac but in practice every token has one right so you take you run like your algorithm so for example hs256 by taking like what you generated here so this base64 url encoded uh, Jose header, you con you concat it like with a dot, and then you take like the uh, claim set also base sixty four URL encoded so this thing, and then you take like your secret or your private key, and then you end up like with a signature or with a Mac that you also base sixty four URL encode. So the bottom line is everything with JSON Web Tokens is like pretty much always base sixty four URL encoded. And then what you do is you take these three parts and you separate them with dots. Here's like the header, here's like the claim set. So the claim set was this thing. And here's like the signature. And yeah, this is like an example for like a JSON Web Signature Tokens. So JSON Web Signature Tokens always has these two dots. Now again, for this edge case where you have unsecured and unsecured JSON Web Signature Tokens, you would not have this part. Yeah, but you should not accept these tokens in the first place. So. Yeah, and the, pr the same principle uh, applies for JSON Web Encryption Compact Serialization. The only difference here is that you have more parts. So you, you don't have like uh, three elements or like three blocks, so to say, but you have like five. Uh, but that's like uh, the topic for another video. Yeah, so always remember compact serialization means you take each of these uh, elements, like the header, the claim set, you base64 URL encode it, and well, the signature you generate, you also base 64 URL encoded, and you always put like a dot in between of these so that you know, okay, the first part is like the header, the second part is the claim set, and the last one is like the signature when we're talking about JSON Web Signature Tokens. Cool, yeah, so that's it pretty much. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.